Oh, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're all well. It's Dave here. And uh, today I thought I would show you the back box and what it's been doing. So shall we have a look? So here it is. Uh, as you can see, it fastens via these bits and bobs here. Uh, onto the rack that sticks out from the back of the van and it comes out probably about a metre so it takes 7.3 uh, metres full length up to about 8.3 metres full length and you can see it just say fits on the drive now I don't know whether you'll notice these orange straps but let me show you more about them so as you can see here we've got a ratchet strap that goes down and under the bottom here so that it holds the box itself more firmly onto these because without the ratchet straps it will bounce above which is not what we're looking for so as it stands the box sits quite nicely it's not too much wobbling about there is some but you know there's going to be that and there's got to be some level of bounce but if it's all held together on the bicycle rack um, that's been attached to the van then there's less likelihood of everything going to hell in a handcart no doubt you want to have a look inside and see what it's all about do you let's see if we can do that then so we just pull the uh, pull it off as a loop that's all it really needs hang it back over I'll take the other side off and let's have a look inside shall we first up undo, the, undo these two locks very simple And lift it up and there you have it we've uh, got the, the four the two chairs and the two um, footrests for it the silver screen over there are the footings for um, or over here rather are the little pads to go under the stilts when we're on soggy ground and there's room to get the barbecue in and various other bits of bobs up to about here and a little bit further out which isn't too bad at all really um, so yes it's coming together bugbears well I have to be honest these locks can take a little bit of finagling you've got to feel where it is when you close it down you need to be absolutely certain that these little lock things are properly located and a little side by side shuffle drops it in and that should now be locked and it is so once you've got that under your belt it's easy enough so there you have it I've just got to put the straps back on and jobs are good and it's not a major problem to do that I think everybody knows how to use a ratchet scrap so I'll not show you through that um, that's about it really about the Fiamma back box in terms of space yeah it's going to do the job it's getting the stuff out of the shower and out of the way so that makes life an awful lot simpler as we go on we'll be adding more and more bits that'll go inside there into the 60 kilogram limit it's got now if you put 61 kilograms in I don't think it's going to make a difference obviously if you put 40 in it'll be fine um, but they say 60 kilograms so 60 kilograms is what we're looking at and you can get plenty in I mean those chairs weigh nothing the barbecue doesn't weigh an awful lot the uh, the pads I reckon we've probably got about 15 20 kilograms in there at the minute there's barrel loads more we can probably do with it so that's all good um, and I'm gonna leave it there I hope you found it useful do I like that I've got it yes I do am I 100% pleased with it no I'm not uh, but 
So as time goes on, we'll see how it's working. But you know, we've got round the niggles that were hard. It's not a major problem. Um, it is what it is. Uh, extra storage if you need it. Right, I'll see you on the next one. But until then, enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies. But most of all, enjoy your lives. See you next time. Take care till then. Bye bye.